What's up guys, I'm BTC, we just got a leak for a brand new legendary skin and the biggest nerf in the history of Overwatch. Okay, maybe not really, but it sounds more dramatic that way. There's an unwritten rule that anytime there's an Overwatch event, there will be leaks. I suppose BlizzCon is no exception. In case you don't know, BlizzCon is a big convention that Blizzard has every single year. They show off all their games, what they're doing for the following year. They show behind the scenes stuff, developer interviews, all kinds of things. Now there's two ways that you can watch the BlizzCon convention. You can either go there in person with a regular ticket, or you can buy a virtual ticket and watch at home on a live stream. Now, if you buy the real ticket like to go there in person, you also get the virtual ticket as an extra. That way you can go back and watch any of the panels or the interviews or anything that you might have missed at home whenever you want to. Now, the virtual tickets are not on sale right now, but the regular tickets were on sale and they've been on sale since Monday. So what ended up happening, this is where the leak comes in, Someone named Rudy Loves Food, credit to him for these images by the way, he actually bought the regular ticket and today he found the legendary skin for Sombra that is supposed to be included with the BlizzCon virtual ticket. Here it is, it is the Demon Hunter Diablo themed legendary skin and this actually looks pretty cool, I definitely like this. I really like the whole kind of other Blizzard stuff that they've done, for example the Doomfist legendary skin for Blackhand is just crazy good. I like. I think that's easily one of the best skins in the game. The Butcher skin for Roadhog also really good. Zarya got a really cool one. Actually all the Diablo skins look really good. Now I know some of you might be thinking, well didn't we get epic skins in the past for BlizzCon? Maybe this is for the Halloween Terror instead, but I really don't think so. Yes, we did get epics, it was Bastion and Winston, but this year during one of the announcements they said, and this is the second line down, it says, Details about this year's items coming soon, starting with the reveal of a legendary Overwatch skin on September 12th. So if we look at a previous leak, of course, for Halloween Terror, we can see some of the upcoming stuff. We've got Spider Queen, Bride, Ghost, and the Slasher. So these are some of the names for the upcoming Halloween Terror skins. And if you look at the other ones, it's like Cold Heart, Corsair, Cultist, Dracula, Immortal, Dragon. You know, they're all kind of like generic Halloween stuff. Blizzard doesn't add Blizzard theme stuff to the Halloween event. It's always kind of this generic Halloween stuff. The only time they added Blizzard events was during that default loot box update and they also gave us that legendary Kerrigan skin for the re-release or whatever of StarCraft. So if this is the Demon Hunter from Diablo, it makes it more sense that they're going to announce it at BlizzCon and not give it like to just a random Halloween terrorist event skin. It just doesn't make any sense. Moving on, I want to quickly talk about a pretty significant nerf to everyone's favorite character the Numbani Spawn Door. Prior to this patch, if you put a spray on the door, you could have the spray be about three times the size it was supposed to be. It was a funny, neat little silly thing that you could do while waiting for the match to start. With this most recent patch, it's been fixed and now it's just a pitiful, normal size spray. Now, I understand that bugs in the game need to be fixed because even something as small and simple as this might actually cause pretty significant problems for something else later in the map. Yeah, I get that. Fix the bugs. But at the same time, Blizzard, why couldn't you just go and change the code? Make it so that the spray, instead of being 100% size, it's 300% size. And for that matter, why not just have it limited to the door? Why not make the entire spawn room so that you can have these giant sprays. I mean, it's a fun, neat, little silly thing that you could do. Over on Temple of Anubis, you can actually put your sprays upside down, which again, is a funny, neat little spray thing that you can do. It doesn't hurt anything. Blizzard, it's a fun little thing. Stop taking fun out of your game. And I know it seems like it's a minor thing, but I mean, really, it's kind of like a... I don't know, it's kind of like symbolism, I suppose, for like what's going on with the overall Overwatch stuff, right? Like you're taking little bits of fun out of the game. Don't do that, Blizzard. Like if you find something that's silly and that people like, add it to the game. Keep it in the game. Don't remove it. So that's my thoughts on it. Guys, can we get an F in chat for the Numbani door? Also, what do you guys think about the brand new Sombra Legendary skin? I think it looks pretty cool. 
Let me know what you think down below. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to see more, subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Also, come hang out in my Discord server and my Twitch live stream. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters. If you'd like to see what kind of cool VIP rewards you can get, check the links down below. And remember, always, always blame the controller, because it's never your fault.